Hey everyone, welcome back to Math Jamboree. Today we have an exciting topic to delve into, mastering trigonometry on the SAT math section. Yep, we are going to we are going digital. As you know, the SAT has evolved and so has its math section. We'll be focusing on the trigonometry components and how to tackle if it tackle it effectively in the digital format. Before we dive in, make sure make sure to hit that subtract button and the notification bell so you never miss out on our valuable SAT tips and tricks. Now let's get started. <laughs> Trigonometry might sound intimidating, but fear not. Let's start with the basics. So I'm going to first before we talk about anything before we talk about any uh, about this problem. I would like to just show you really the basics of the trigonometrics by just drawing this right triangle. In trigonometry, we always work with the right triangle. So let's say here is alpha degree, and this side is A, B, and C. In, in the SAT, mainly you will be facing problems related to sine, cosine, or the tangents. So let's determine what they are. And I'm going to label these sides as A, B, C. So if you are looking for the value of sine, let's say sine alpha. So imagine that as if you're sitting on the corner edge of this triangle on the B, and you're looking at from this way. If you will look at from the uh, B, uh, what do you see? Your opposite. So the sign is uh, related to opposite sides, op opposite sides over the hypotenuses. So the value you're looking for is A over C. In this triangle, the side C is the hypotenuse. That's why we're going to use in the denominator for sine uh, C. Let's determine another value. Now, cosine. What if you're looking for the cos, cosine alpha? So for the cos alpha, again, we're looking are the not the opposite side, our neighboring side of the triangle, which is B in this case. And denominator is still the C. Uh, if you are looking for a tangent and Actually, in this problem, uh, the one we're going to start solving with is also related to tangents. For the tangents uh, or cotangent, you don't use any hypotenuses. You're dealing with the sides. So tangent is component of, it's similar to sine. So it starts with the opposite side, which is A in this case, over, is it going to be C hypotenuse? No. It's going to be our neighboring side, which is B. So 10, I didn't put the degree over there. Let me fix it really quick. I'll just put 10 alpha over there. So, so we're going to put here 10 alpha. All right. So. Based on this information, this, this is the basic introduction of uh, the trigonometry. You will need this much of information. The trigonometry topic is really complex topics. There are a lot of formulas that uh, you need to memorize and learn to solve a lot of questions related to trigonometry. But College Board, they simplified the SAT. They don't expect you to know lot of that detailed information, this much information, the basic foundation is uh, good enough and you will be tested about this uh, knowledge. So let's start on this question. We have, we're talking about here in this problem. Uh, let's start reading the question. RS is 20, ST is 48, TR is 52. The side lengths of the right triangle RST are given. Huh. Okay, let's uh, draw. Okay, I'm going to draw in here one right triangle. 
again. This is R S T R S T. I am assuming S will be here on the corner. And also, um, oh, uh, let's put the sets. R S is given as uh, 20. You might ask, ST is 48. How did I determine S will be the, the corner with an any degree? Uh, if you look at the value of TR, which is 52, that's the longest side. The longest side in the triangle has to be the hypotenuse. That's why S will be the corner with a 90 degree. I'm going to go ahead and draw another triangle because in the rest of the problem, it's talking about another similar triangle to our RST triangle. But this one is named as U, V, and W. The triangle RST is similar to triangle U, V, W, where S corresponds to V, where S, yes, we draw it that way, S and V are both 90 degrees. Uh, v and T corresponds V, O, V, uh, let me see, R where S corresponds to V, yes, uh, S is corresponds to V, and T corresponds to W, sorry about that. So what is the value of 10 W? So we, are trying to, we need to find the value of 10 W. Let's say we have a degree again here as alpha. So you're, you're supposed to find 10 alpha for this question, right? If these triangles are similar, that means this side will be 20K. This side will be 52K. That's a multiple of 52. And this side will be 48K. In this case, <clears throat> you tried, you're required to find the value of 10 alpha, 10 W. So the, from the point here, you're looking at to find the value of tangent, you're looking for the opposite value, which is 20K over, and do I use the hypotenuses? No, remember for the tangent, we're using the other side. Um, so neighboring side is 48, 48K. The K, uh, you can go ahead and simplify these Ks, so you don't need them anymore. Let's move it a little bit down so that we can have more space to write. And we need to simplify 20 over 48, 20 over 48 to get the answer. So technically you can divide both sides by, they are both multiples of four, or you can divide them twice by two. You will have five over 12 for the answer. So right choice for this question is the choice B. So I have prepared similar digital SAT math format questions you might face in the during the um, SAT test. So let's move on to those problems. Um, so this is the basic information you will need, but to solve this, the questions that I prepared, so I'm expecting College Board to ask to do to find the value of any degree so i prepared some other questions in different formats let's start with this one so if this is a free response question you don't have a cho you don't have the choices um let's dive in a construction crane is 65 meter tall so we have a construction crane let's assume this is the crane and this is 65 meter tall. A worker is standing 215 meters away from the crane. So we're talking about a one person, the worker says, let's say stays here and it is 215 meters away. What is the angle of elevation between the ground in front of the worker and the top of the crane? So, so now technically you're supposed to find this degree. If you will look at it from here, 
uh, what's the relationship between these two sides that are given? 65 is in the opposite side of this alpha and 215 is just neighboring side. So opposite over, you know, neighboring. Does it, will, does it ring any bell? It's a tangent, right? It's going to be tangent alpha. So tangent alpha will be equal to 65 over 215. But how are you going to find the value of the alpha? So that's the thing. To find the, alpha, the degree of alpha, you're supposed to, this is the formula for all trigonometric questions that you can use. You're going to put tangent to the power of negative one and 65 over 215. I'm going to go ahead and just put it the value in here. This is 0. Point, let's say 30, 23. You're, remember, you're allowed to use your calculator. So you can put this in your calculator. If you're using any smartphone, you can also calculate this. Uh, to calculate this, uh, technically you will divide 65 by 215. This is gonna be approximately 0 0.3023, it keeps going. But to, to find the value of alpha, you need to hit on your phone uh, or, or if you're using a scientific calculator, but I'm gonna explain the phone version of it because mostly students, they have cell phones these days. So you can uh, go, you can just go and turn it over to your phone and you know keep it horizontal way and then hit there is a second section that should be on your calculator from left to top as the second uh, button from the left to top. If you will click that second, you will see now ten to the power of negative one. If you will hit that button, and it, this is going to calculate and tell you the answer. This is going to be 16.8 degrees. So the, the value of alpha is 16 points. Let me put this in a different color. 16.8 degree um, as an answer. So you can go ahead and put this data for your as your final answer. This might be the eliminating question for the, some of the students. Again, similar type of question. I have another one over here. You can always pause the video and give it a try to solve it by yourself. Never forget that. And, the, and these, in this problem, we're going to, okay, let's start reading it. Find the length of the angle marked question mark. So the, again, we're looking for the degree. We're trying to find, let's, let's call it alpha again. It's common in geometry to uh, use alpha as variable for the values of degrees. The right triangle below. So again, from the point of alpha, if you will look at it, we know the value of the opposite side. Do we know the value of neighboring side? No, but what do we know? We know the value of hypotenuses side. So if you know opposite and hypotenuses, this is for the sine. Sine alpha is equal to 20.8 over 42.8. So to get the value of alpha, what am I going to do? Again, same thing, sine to the power of negative 1 and the value of 20.8 over 42.8. Let's go ahead and use your phone. Again, you can use that. 20.8 over 42.8. Remember, you will be allowed to use your uh, calculator in the tests. Zero, this is going to be <clears throat> zero point, let's say, four, eight. I will just put four digits. Five, nine. The rest is okay. I'll just put it this way. So if you will just, again, use your calculator, turn it over, put it in horizontal mode, then click, hit the second button on the laptop, then where you will see 
the sine to the negative power, sine to the power of negative one, cosine to the power of negative one. So hit that button, you will, you will get 29.08, if you'll just round it, 0 0.8 degree. So our answer is, for this question, again, alpha, I will just rewrite in a different color of pen because I didn't like the first one. It is, alpha is 29.08 degree. So this is how you solve this question. Let's move on to the next one. This is another trick question. So let's read the question, then we'll continue by the solution. A letter is eight meter long. It is leaning up against the wall of a house and reaches five meter up to the wall. If the angle at angle at which the letter meets the ground is less than 35 degrees, it may slip and cause injury. Is it safe to climb the letter? Hmm. It's interesting and different type of question they may ask you during the exam. So let's draw the situation. We have a house. Let's say this is the house and it's five meter long. And the letter, let's say this is our letter. I can just draw it like this. It may not look, I know I'm not an art teacher, but maybe I could have done better than that, but it's all right. So here is our triangle. This is going to be 90 degree. Remember the length of the letter was given as eight meter. It is eight meter long. And we're trying to find the value of this degree, alpha. So the, what's the relationship from this alpha with five and eight meters? Eight meters is our hypothesis. It's obvious there. So, and the five meter is opposite side of the alpha. Then we're going to use sine alpha for this problem, which is gonna be five meter over eight meter. So therefore, to find the value of alpha, if you will simplify this, alpha will be equal to sine to the power of negative one, five over eight. Let's use your calculator, five over eight. It'll give you zero point six two five and if you will hit the this again sine to the power of negative one the degree will be here alpha is going to be thirty eight point sixty eight degree so is it safe to climb to the to the ladder uh, if it is less than 35, that was the danger. But since, since the degree that we found is 38.68 is greater than 35 degree, yes, it is safe to climb on this ladder. So, these are the questions that I prepared for you to practice uh, the tri trick, trigonometry. Uh, I wish you good luck on your test. Hope to see you around. Um, take care.